Hello everyone, my name is Blake Spitz and this demonstration is taken from a larger project called Women's Stories W.E.V. Du Bois Papers Data. I'll be showing my second experiment with network visualization in Palladio, mapping all of the correspondence data in the Du Bois Papers connected to one individual, Ellen Irene Diggs, who was Du Bois's student, secretary and research assistant, and a groundbreaking scholar and researcher in her own right. Okay, so this is the map feature in Palladio with the points representing letters sent from those locations weighted in size by numbers of letters. I'm going to unsize the points for better visibility. And you can also filter the map view with various facets, such as creator's name. So when I select digs here, you can see the points on the map decrease and her correspondence was sent just from a few specific places, especially Atlanta and New York City. And if I add Du Bois, many more places show up on the map. So if I use the creator filter to select both of them, we can now see changes not just on a geographic map, but also on a timeline graph showing the numbers of letters sent along a chronological x-axis. And we can see a large number of letters sent around 1937 and wonder what they were about. And they're grouped by subject tags, so we can see that a large number of these letters were sent about Du Bois' lectures, travel, and sending materials back and forth. And Du Bois was on a world trip that year. We can also filter the correspondence um, by specific titles of work, such as the academic journal Phylon that the two co-founded. And we can see most letters are about sending materials, finances, and people. If we select the book The Negro in the United States, which they were working on in 1950, we can see the correspondence is now about um, research, sociology, and writing, and the locations have changed, and most of the correspondence is around 1950. We can similarly select a number of Du Bois's published works from earlier in his career where Diggs played a role and see the timing and topics of those conversations. And if we go back to the map view, it will only show those places from which the letters were sent, reflecting the filter that we selected in the facet of those different titles. This of course is just a points map. I don't have the data for the cities receiving these letters, which I would need for a point to point map in Palladio but I hope to do some experimenting with that point-to-point um, -point option soon. Thank you for watching.